Greetings from Marathon, Texas. We have so much to update you guys on because the last time we saw you, we were in Key West, Florida. Some time has passed, we had the holidays, and now we're back on the road here in West Texas, and we're gonna take you along the next three days as we explore the rest of West Texas, including Marathon, Big Bend State Park, and Marfa. So welcome to Marathon, Texas. This is like a little oasis town in the middle of the desert, in the middle of absolute nowhere. <laughs> we spent a week in Corpus Christi, Texas, which is right on the beach. We're able to camp literally on the beach with the van and we stayed there for a while. We couldn't film there because it's managed by the national parks and that's a whole situation. So we couldn't film, but we really enjoyed that and it felt like we really kicked off van life and then we drove like four hours we got here we were gonna spend one night and then we spent another night and then we spent three more nights so <laughs> we've just been loving it and we really wanted to show you guys around it's a really cool town half of it is like a ghost town the other half is really nice and has a hotel and this really cool rv park so we'll show you guys around but first coffee. the stars out where the sun sets we'll find the light <laughs> this place is such a vibe like for the middle of nowhere I just think that this is such a cool coffee shop and we probably have been coming here every day but it's good another one of our morning daily stops has been going to the one grocery store in town called the French grocer just been picking up little odds and ends I've been super into cooking ever since we left in the van I've really loved it and tonight we're gonna have one of our staple meals that we've been having quite a bit since we've been in Texas Tacos! <laughs> <laughs> so we gotta go get some supplies. Well, that's not what we expected. We are gonna show you guys the grocery store in town, but we show up and they're freaking filming <laughs> a feature film inside the grocery store. So we couldn't even go in. We had to order from the window. But anyway, you'll have to imagine what a small town grocery store looks like, I guess. We're headed back to the van now. We have to get some work done. So this isn't like a super fun day, but we really wanted to show you around, like Cody said. So on our way back, we're going to give you a little tour of the campsite and the grounds. It's also a hotel. When we checked in, we said we were there for one night and then we went out and kind of looked around the campground and explored. I immediately went back into the office and said, can we stay one more night? We really like it here. It's just so peaceful. The skies are getting so dark. We had a great sunset the first night. The guy goes, yeah, no problem. This won't be the only time you come in and ask that, but enjoy. So two days later, went back in and was like, can we stay two more nights? He's like, I told you I was right. But yeah, we just love it. It's so peaceful. We're in a little basin. So we're surrounded by distant mountains in the desert landscape. Yeah, we're loving it. So this is a part of the RV park and motel. This is the common area, which is what really caught our eye as soon as we pulled in. It's such a cool space. It's so peaceful here. They have a water fountain over here, like a little waterfall. Over here at night, they always have a fire and people are sitting out. One night a guy was out here playing his guitar. It's just such a good communal space. And yeah, I wish we could like translate the energy of this place into the video. It's so hard, but hopefully we do it justice. Yeah. So this is the hotel aspect of the park. Um, just like a split tiny house, which we love because tiny houses. <laughs> <laughs> so what we're walking through now is kind of the standard RV sites in this campground. We don't actually stay in this part because all it does is it has electric hookups and water hookups. But because the van has so much solar on the roof, 
we really never have to plug in like even with cloudy days we've had cloudy days the last couple of days the van stays topped off right at 100 percent every morning so we're so thankful that we put in all that time and effort to redo the electric system because these are like forty dollars a night i think and our we're in like the dry camping area which is actually for tents which is where we are it's 15 bucks a night so saving them dollars <laughs> So here we have the outdoor showers. I'm gonna give you a little tour. <laughs> a little bench for your things, hooks for your towel and clothes, and cold and hot water. <laughs> <laughs> laundry, coin off laundry, which is very nice. Something we're still getting used to in the desert is that everything is so spiky and pointy like literally every little bush spikes i got smoked by one of these Watch out. Oh. i've been hit very sharp also sharp <laughs> all right so behind me you can see these like three buildings those all hold telescopes which is so crazy the people that actually own the telescopes live in new york and they use like a vpn and they're able to use the telescopes collect data all the way from new york and then there's someone here who kind of manages and fixes the problem that go wrong but they actually do what's called star parties here and the guy will take out a telescope and it'll take you in the buildings we've been hoping to do that but pretty much the last three nights have been cloudy so they haven't been doing them but hopefully tonight this clouds will go away and we'll do a little star party action and that's pretty much the whole rv park we're gonna go make some lunch and then get some work done but we'll bring you along and update you later tonight and hopefully hopefully fingers crossed we can get to that star party All right, just had lunch and now the not so fun part of the day, we're about to sit down and get some work done. I have to finish up a couple extra client videos and then I think I'm pretty much caught up and Jill is gonna be editing the video you guys saw last week. Working on the Key West video, I am the sole YouTube editor now. Just kidding, Cody edits everything <laughs> once I'm done. <laughs> but yeah, this is now my full-time job is editing videos and just sharing all of this with you guys. So. Don't forget to subscribe and comment and like and interact with us because it truly is my job right now. <laughs> Just a couple seconds for you guys, but a couple hours for us. We got a bunch of work done. I was working on client videos. Joe was working on a Key West video. If you guys haven't watched that yet, click it up here. We're doing our nightly walk down into town. There is the cutest like garden slash dog walking area that we've been going to every night. So we're excited to show you that, but Man, does editing on a laptop screen all day make me so tired. I'm exhausted. Yeah, that's pretty much been my life for the last couple of years. <laughs> but Jill is crushing the editing and really enjoying it so far. And I'm enjoying having a little bit more free mind space to think about <laughs> other things. But yeah, we're going to walk down to the gardens, which is crazy that they have this in this tiny little town. It's so cool and it's so nice because we can let Cliff off leash. I'll show you. So welcome to Gage Gardens. This is literally right across the street from all the downtown shops that we went to earlier. We didn't even know this was over here until like two days ago. We saw the sign, we're like, I wonder what type of gardens they have. And it's like 27 acres. They have a mile loop around here. They have this walking path through all the gardens, which are super nice. Some of the fountains aren't on because it is technically the middle of the winter for Texas. But um, yeah, we're loving it here and Cliff can be off leash on the walk, so he also gets very excited. <laughs> hey buddy. Alright, let's go. Come on. Woo, off leash boy. Into the sunset. So there's a mile loop here. And every so often there are little workout stations like pull up bars or like, what's it called? Inverted push ups. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, we're not really in our workout gear, but might do me some push ups today. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see it. <laughs> Just does not do those mountains justice. So cool tonight with the haze. Camera doesn't even know what to do. 
just looks so cool. I love this landscape. Well, that concludes our little one mile loop with our workout circuit that we've been hitting up uh, <laughs> late at night here at the end of our days. And now uh, we're gonna head back into town, walk back to the campground. We're not really sure what we're gonna do tonight. We're hoping to do that star party where we can look through the telescopes, but it's super hazy tonight. So I doubt that's gonna happen, but we shall see. Maybe if that's not gonna happen, maybe I'll go for a little one wheel ride. Ooh, I like it. <laughs> you shall see. Every so often there's like a little seating area with these chairs that I love. We've been calling them like conversation chairs, but it's like two seats facing the opposite way. I don't even know how to describe it. So cool. I'll show you my world. Oh, oh, oh. Show you my world. The sun is going down, so we gotta move it back. <laughs> <laughs> Got him! <laughs> We're uh, a little sad tonight. It's like, oh, this is the last time we'll be in the garden. This is the last time we'll be getting breakfast here, but we're ready. It's been a great four, four days, five days. I don't know. Yeah, me either. It's been great having no plan. So crazy and we're just loving it, but we're excited to move on, see what else we find because we've pretty much loved every place we've gone. <laughs> I think that's like one of our downfalls being van lifers is we're very much creatures of habit. So once we find a place and feel comfortable and safe, we don't want to leave. <laughs> <laughs> we're forcing ourselves though. We're going to head towards Big Bend State Park tomorrow. And that concludes our walk. We are all done for the night. I don't think we're gonna be able to do the star party because it may have taken a little too long flying the drone and the sun has already set, so they've already started without us, but that's all right. Hopefully we'll still be able to see the stars tonight, but that kind of wraps up our day today. If you guys saw the Key West video and I talked about one more <laughs> shot, just yeah. one more shot. Gets me every time. <laughs> It's me every time. <laughs> you didn't want to go to the star party anyway. <laughs> but that's okay. We're going to conclude it for the night, go to bed. Yep. Um, but tomorrow we're headed to Big Bend State Park. Yeah. And we are so excited to see it. My glasses just fell. It's Buddy. okay. It's okay. <laughs> Good night. <laughs> Good morning. We had a wonderful night of just relaxing. Now we are headed to dump our tanks. Oh. Gross. And then we're headed to Big Bend State Park. But first, you guys know the drill at this point. <laughs> Coffee. <laughs> Shot latte. Oh my gosh. <laughs> we ready. From staying here for the last five days, I've realized that the things that make me happy and pretty much all I need in life is a good grocery store that has produce and things that I can make for good food and a coffee shop <laughs> and my buddies. Other than that, pretty content. That's all you need. Yep, pretty much. <laughs> Been in Texas for a couple weeks now, so everything's just been super flat. So now we're getting into like the Big Bend region, and there's mountains everywhere with like no trees. It's just such an unfamiliar landscape. It's so cool to us. So we've been shooting so much as we're driving through. This drive's definitely been a highlight of the last couple days. It's so cool to see all the landscapes change, and now we're definitely into what feels like a desert. <laughs>
just made it to the visitor center for Big Bend Ranch State Park and we are so excited. We're gonna take the dog out, go to the bathroom, check out the visitor center for a little bit and then get ready to get outside and get some exercise and see the landscape. So let's go. We just picked up our patches and a sticker from the gift shop for our little collection. If you guys have been watching for a while, you know that we try to collect those wherever we go. We also got a campsite. I thought we were going to boondock it tonight, but the ranger, which I kind of expected, said that the place I found, you're not really supposed to. So we ended up just grabbing a campsite. <laughs> it was like 20 bucks, so we figured why not. Hopefully we'll be able to see some stars tonight because this is also a dark star place. Um, so yeah, we're going to get ready to roll in. We'll go check out the campsite, which is after quote big hill so that's a little nerve-wracking but driving. <laughs> yeah we'll uh check the campsite out and then probably go do one of the two hikes that we're here to do there's literally two trails in this state park that dogs can be on and there were the two trails that i wanted to check out so yeah we'll keep you guys updated here we go headed towards big hill <laughs> ready to rumble here we go towards big hill slightly nervous about big hill <laughs> I think he said it was like a 15% grade. So that Gross. should be interesting. Welcome to Closed Canyon Trail. Like we said, this is one of two trails that dogs are allowed on. But honestly, after looking up this whole uh, Big Bend Ranch State Park, it seems like one of the coolest trails here. It's a slot canyon, which we've never hiked in before. So super excited for that. The only thing is Jill's a little scared because we're reading the sign and it said, if there are bears or mountain lions, you have to make yourself really big to scare them <laughs> off. Like, ah! I almost choked. <laughs> Hopefully that uh, won't become the case, but yeah, we're about to hike into a slot canyon. And I'm super excited. We just walked down a few switchbacks and now we're in like an old dried up riverbed and it is crazy how steep the walls <laughs> of this is. When it said that there was a slot canyon, I was expecting it to be a lot smaller than this. This is so cool. We are about to round the corner and get our first look at the slot canyon. <laughs> so crazy looking. That is cool. Check it out. <laughs> we are out here and we are struggling today. <laughs> I've gone down. Jill just went down on her butt. Thought for sure she was going in the gross water. <laughs> Who Who knew? It's like a big jungle gym for you. Well, I guess that's the end for us. This is a very slippery slope down into a very gross uh, water hole. So safety officer said that it probably shouldn't. So we're gonna turn back, but this is really, really cool. I'm pretty sure that's really close to the end, but yeah, here we go. Closed Canyon on the back out. We'll see how we do. And we have made it out of the slot canyon. We Cl did it. Closed canyon trail. That was pretty sweet. It was uh, a little adventurous there. We had a couple of slides on the butts. I took a good fall, I think. I bounced. It wasn't even that like steeper adventurous. No. We're just 
little, getting, getting the hang of it. I was going to say, a little rusty on the feet, I think, for the hiking trails, but that was really cool. That's one of the two hikes that we came here to do. We decided we're going to head back to camp now, just chill for the night, and then we're going to do the Hoodoos Trail in the morning before we head towards New Mexico. Ooh. Let's go. If we approve. We just finished Closed Canyon, and oh my gosh, it was so beautiful. Highly recommend. One of the two dog-friendly hikes in the park, and Cliff loved it. I think he loved it more than the both of us. Yeah. He loves like jumping up on rocks and jumping off of them. We call it parkour. He's doing his parkour. But he's wiped and we're wiped, so we got a campground for the night, and we're headed there now, and we're gonna cook some dinner and probably rest. But tomorrow we're gonna do that second dog-friendly hike, so we'll probably see you then. Good morning from Big Bend Ranch State Park. I am out this morning on my one wheel and I am about to attempt to go up what they call here Big Hill. It's uh, definitely a big hill. It's a 15% grade and uh, this is the new one wheel and I've just been absolutely loving it. It's been a blast for me just to kind of take it out at night or take it out in the morning. Just kind of ride around, get familiar with the area, and uh, yeah, today is going to be the challenge of getting up over the 15% grade, but I may or may not have done it last night. It was just too much fun, so I charged it up again and going to give it a go. Going up was fun, and I was really happy that I was able to do it, but coming back down kind of feels like a roller coaster that you get to control, so going to go up do that now it's so hard to uh, put it into perspective of how steep this really is but I'm gonna try to get the camera set up and ride past it and show you guys how steep these hills are <laughs> So there it is, made it to the top of Big Hill. <laughs> that certainly is a big hill, but this one wheel is so crazy. And it just pulled me right up over, 15% grade, made it. Ah, oh, this view is absolutely beautiful. I wish Jill's uh, one wheel would be able to make it, but it's my older board. It would not have enough power to do this. So on the solo trip, but anyway, good morning from Big Bend Ranch State Park. We're excited to take you guys along for the day. Thanks for watching. For a life of new discovery Focus our eyes on the journey Stepping into the unknown Waving goodbye to our worry So this river down here is the Rio Grande and our campsite last night was like right down in here on this side on this side of the river United States that side is Mexico. So crazy. I honestly thought the Rio Grande was going to be a hell of a lot bigger than that, but still super, super cool to be here. And these views are amazing. It's crazy that no one talks about Big Bend Ranch State Park because it's right next to Big Bend National Park, but man, this place is awesome. Time to head back out. There's our campground where we slept last night, right at the bottom of Big Hill. He's back! How was your ride? Oh, so amazing. That is seriously like one of the craziest things I've ever done on a one wheel. <laughs> it's so steep. I don't think it'll come across in camera, but anyway. I rode up and down like three three or four times. He, so, he came it. back just like high on life. Yeah. So we're off now. We're headed to another hike. It's about 30 minutes away. And I think the most excited person in the van is the dog. Yep. He's ready. He's ready. <laughs> you wanna go for a hike? Gonna put our hiking boots on before we get rolling. We are really excited for this hike because it has, it's called the Hoodoo Trail and it has hoodoos which are like rock formations. 
Is that how you would describe it? <laughs> yeah. Interesting rock formation. All right, we just started the Hoodoo's Trail. I'm excited to see these rock formations and we're already starting to see them. So we didn't really do any uh, educational research before we started this hike on what makes the Hoodoo's form like they do. So we're gonna take some guesses and then we'll actually look up the answer and give you guys the answer. But buddy? As a warning, I almost failed history class, so I have no clue. But my guess is like based off of the other rocks, it does look like there was some water here at one point where there's like lines in the rocks. But I would say these ones are different because this is where like the strongest current was. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm saying it's just like over the years of, yeah, I think there was water and then just like the wind and the rain just like make all the stone around it like fall away. And someone is ready for a break. <laughs> so he is sunbathing. just made it to the viewpoint. It's a pretty mild one mile hike, so it was really good. I think Cliff was hoping for a little bit more um, parkour, like jumping on the rocks, but the view here is just insane. I'm just down here taking pics. I don't know what this looks like from this angle. What? The Oscar Mayer Weenie Mobile. <laughs> Does it really? <laughs> Look at it. <laughs> <laughs> it does. <laughs> Focus our eyes on the journey, stepping into the unknown. So that just about does it for the Hoodoo's Trail. What did you think? I thought it was really cool. The one mile hike didn't really go anywhere near the Hoodoo's, so we mm -hmm. kind of just went off trail a bit to get up close to them. It was really cool. I think the cooler hike was definitely Closed Canyon, but thankful that there was at least two hikes that the dog yeah. could do, considering Big Bend. National Park <laughs> doesn't allow dogs anywhere. So yeah. yeah, it was cool to come here with Cliff and be able to experience it. Yep. Well, on to our next stop of the day. Yeah. Marfa, let's go. So we run wild and free. just made it to a little roadside attraction that I have been like weirdly obsessing over for weeks and I am so excited <laughs> to just like go take photos in front of it but I want to change and like put something cute on we brought our we brought like my big camera my photography camera so I think we're gonna shoot some photos and Cody has some funny funny video ideas so we're just gonna play around it's like a little photo stop <laughs> need a new bag, some shoes. <laughs> In the middle of absolute nowhere. Yes, it's my lucky day. Everything's going my way. And it feels so nice to say I'm lucky today. Well, that wraps up our West Texas vlog. It was super cool to stop at the Prada store. Definitely something we've always seen online and knew that we wanted to stop. So we were able to stop, shoot a little video, shoot some photos, and now we head further west. 
Thank you guys for joining us during our Western Texas <laughs> travels. We've loved having you here and we've absolutely loved West Texas. It has been such a surprise to us. Yeah. Um, we really only came to Dallas to visit our closest friends, Yuri and Haley, and it turned into such an adventure. So we so appreciate you guys joining along. We don't really know where we're gonna be next time we see you guys, but we appreciate you being here. Hit that like button if you enjoyed it and make sure you hit subscribe and we'll see you in the next one. Cheers guys. Peace.